last summer or probably you know, thereabouts because um, we've had lots of uh, talking on Pender Island about alternative energies and Zora has brought you know lots of people over to talk about it and it just didn't seem that we were getting beyond the talking stage so I um, thought about it and it looked like an interesting project yeah. to do maybe and so I essentially just handpicked a few guys that I knew who might be interested in helping out on this and so we had a had a meeting and everybody was pretty gung-ho and uh, so we decided we kind of um, went over the public buildings that we had on Pender Island because the vision statement is that to cover all suitable public buildings on Pender Island with uh, solar panels by the year 2020. So we were investigating uh, finding a great teacher to come teach us more about so solar photovoltaics and all of a sudden we heard about one of our sister islands which is Gabriola Island and they had started a non-profit energy association called Gabe Energy which is totally dedicated to supporting the development of more solar photovoltaic electricity use. And our mission is to bring low-cost solar power to the residents of Gabriel and Pender and the, and the Gulf Islands. So we've been up and running now about a year and a half and uh, we've got uh, 10, 12 systems on the go right now. So we're starting to gain some ground and it's feeling pretty good. And so we talked about it, you know, obviously there's other buildings that are suitable, but um, recycling seemed to be a good first choice. It's not too big a project. It's an easy building to work on. Um, it's very public, so it can be a really good e educational tool because there's no closed in walls. Everything will be visible even after the installation. So anybody who is interested in doing their own installation can come up here and look at it, see how the wiring is running, everything. Yeah. People weren't aware of why they would need 39 panels to start with. Uh, many people use solar on their houses here on Pender, but it will only be one or two solar panels uh, for heating the hot tub or something like that. So the request for 39 panels raised a large question in the minds of many of the members. The 265 watt jingle panel, the model of crystalline panel, and uh, it's guaranteed for 25 years. I see you have the, uh, on the, on the back end here. You see as we do the demonstration, these just, these just plug in place. There's no real wiring required. You just click in. Yeah. And much the old ones you used to hack a few junction boxes and these are all new generation panels, new generation wires. Uh, they'll be uh, just under 10 kilowatts. Right. 39 panels, so it's 9 kilowatts. Great. That's a nice system. It'll work really well here. Then the next step was obviously to, to find the funding to do this. Um, so Rob Zook and myself, we uh, got together one afternoon and spent four hours putting an application into the NUDU and the CRD grant and aid and both got approved. One of the overwhelming arguments or points that Andy made at the meeting was this. He said that uh, sometimes you don't make a decision or decide to do something because it will be advantageous to you. You don't do it because you'll get your money back. You just do it because it's the right thing to do. We went to a little meeting with the new to you to explain it and uh, they've shown great vision and leadership I think in this like they have done you know for many years. So essentially in eight hours we were able to raise twenty six thousand dollars to uh, make this happen and you know that's how we're here today so.
Red tie is fairly new in BC. They've only had it for a few years. And what it means is instead of when you want to go solar, you use, essentially use the, the grid as your backup power, as, as your battery. So you don't have to maintain a whole battery bank, which is expensive, and they, they, they take a lot of maintenance. And so this simplifies the, the system quite, quite a lot. And the energy bill up here is, I think, less than $500 a year. So this installation will reduce that to zero and then because of the smart meters <laughs> BC Hydro will be able to measure the extra power that's generated up here and which is fed into the grid and at the end of the year recycling should be able to get a small check from BC yeah, Hydro an annual payback. It's, it's done on an annual basis yeah yeah and it's you know once you got your bill down to zero then any extra energy that you generate is, is paid to back to you at, at 10 cents a kilowatt hour which is you know it's better than nothing it's not a huge amount of money and hopefully you know one one day that rate will go up <laughs> but you know the other aspect of course is that we already know that in the next five years hydro rates will be going up close to 20 yeah. percent so by doing this, you know, that's a great investment, really, you know, it's, it's, it's money in the bank.